Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 3 on the applications of Laplace transform to the solutions of linear second order ODE with constant coefficient. In the first video, we solve the ODE whose f of s as the linear factor. In the second video, we solve another ODE using Laplace transform when we get the f of s as the repeated factors. And now in this session, we are going to see a problem maybe if f of s has the non-factorizable terms. We know how to solve using partial fractions. Let us go into the problem. Solve the following differential equation using Laplace transform. It is not in our format. We have to write in our format y double dash of t plus y dash of t minus 2 into y of t is equal to 3 cos 3t minus 11 sin 3t. Next, given initial conditions, y of 0 is equal to 0, dy by dt equal to 6 at t equal to 0. That means, the meaning is y of 0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 is equal to 6. Sometimes they will give y equal to 0, dy by dt equal to 6 at t equal to 0. The meaning for this is y of 0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 is equal to 6. Now let us write the formulas. L of y dash of t, s into L of y of t minus y of 0. And then L of y double dash of t is going to be s square into L of y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0. You can see the typed version. Now let us write the differential equation in our format and take this as equation 1 and the initial conditions are y of 0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 equal to 6. Next, we have to apply Laplace transform on the both sides and using linear property I can split this. Now, 3 into L of cos 3t is going to be s by s square plus 3 square minus 11 into sin 3t is 3 by s square plus 3 square that is 3 times s by s square plus 9 minus 11 into 3 by s square plus 9. Now in the case of LHS, we have to apply the formula which is shown in the first page. We know that y of 0 is 0, y dash of 0 is 6. Since y of 0 is 0, this is going to be 0 and this term is going to be 0. Now I have to assemble L of y of t from the given content. Since these two terms are 0, we have s square plus s minus 2 into L of y of t and then y dash of 0 is 6. So, we get minus 6 is equal to 3 times s by s square plus 9 minus 3 into 11 divided by s square plus 9. Now, we can take s square plus 9 as common as well as 3. So, we get 3 into s minus 11 divided by s square plus 9 in the right hand side. Now we have to push the 6 to the right hand side. s square plus s minus 2 can be simplified as or can be factored as s plus 2 into s minus 1. Therefore, this is the typed version of the content. Next, we have to take LCM. Then we get 3 into s minus 11 plus 6 into s square plus 9 divided by s square plus 9. Now we have to push the numerator to the right hand side, we will get the denominator s minus 1 into s plus 2 into s square plus 9. And now we have to simplify this 3s minus 33 plus 6s square plus 54. Therefore, 6s square plus 3s plus 21. That is in the numerator. Denominator we have s minus 1, s plus 2, s square plus 9. Now, taking L inverse on both sides, we get y of t is equal to L inverse of the above content. Next, we have to apply partial fraction. For this, we have to check the denominator power. S into S into S square. So, degree of the denominator is 4. And then, degree of the numerator is going to be 2 because the highest power is 2. So, degree of the denominator is greater than 
degree of the numerator. Therefore, we can apply partial fraction. Now we have to write one by one. A by s minus one plus b by s plus two plus denominator as s square plus nine term. So we have to write this as c s plus D. Now we have to find all the four constants. So taking LCM, my denominator will get cancelled. So we get 6 S square plus 3 S plus 21 in the right hand side. A into S plus 2 S square plus 9. And then B into S minus 1 S square plus 9. S minus 1 S square plus 9. Finally, C S plus D into S minus 1 S plus 2. So we get S minus 1 into S plus 2. Now we have to find all the four constants. For this, we can substitute some numbers. For example, I can substitute S equal to 1 so that some term will become 0. And then S equal to minus 2. I have two options here. Remaining options, we can go for comparison or random numbers. First, put S equal to 1. We get 6 plus 3 plus 21 in the left hand side. In the right hand side, these two terms get cancelled. A into 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9. So we have 30 is equal to A into 3 into 10. Therefore, A is equal to 1. You can see the typed version. Next, we can put S equal to minus 2. Then first and third term get cancelled. 6 into minus 2 square is 4. 3 into minus 2 plus 21 b into minus 2 minus 1. Here minus 2 square is 4 plus 9. So 24 minus 6 plus 21 is equal to b into minus 3 into 13. Simplifying this, we get 39 in the left hand side. b into minus 3 into 13. Therefore, 39 equal to minus 39 b. So, b value is minus 1. We found a and b. Next, we have to find c and d. For this, I don't have other options. I have to compare the coefficient of s square or s cube or highest term or the lowest term or constant etc. Now, I am going to compare the coefficient of s cube. Left hand side, no s cube. 0. When you come for here, s is square into s. Therefore, the coefficient is a. And in this term, s is square into s. The term is b. And for the third term, c s into s into s. This will give c s cube. So, plus c. a plus b plus c equal to 0. Here, we found a equal to 1, b equal to minus 1. 0 is equal to 1 minus 1 plus c. So, c equal to 0. Easily, we get the value. Next, either I can put some random values or I can compare the coefficients of some terms. I am going to compare the coefficient of constant term. Here we have 21. In the right hand side, 2 into 9, 18, we have A, 18A, then minus 9B, and finally, minus 1 into 2, minus 2, we have D. Therefore, 18A minus 9B minus 2D equal to 21. We know the value of A, that is 1, and value of B, that is going to be minus 1 minus 2D. So, 21 is equal to 18 plus 9 minus 2D. Simplifying this, we get minus 6 equal to minus 2D. Minus minus get cancelled. D equal to 3. Therefore, A equal to 1. B equal to minus 1. C equal to 0. D equal to 3. Substitute all the four values in the problem. A is 1. So, 1 by S minus 1. B is minus 1. So, I will put minus half. 1 by S plus 2. C is 0. And D is 3. So, plus 3 divided by S square plus 9. Now, applying inverse Laplace transform to this term, we get y of t is equal to L inverse of this. That is, L inverse of 1 by s minus 1 minus L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 plus L inverse of 3 by s square plus 9. So, the solution is e power t minus e power minus 2t plus sin 3t. The reason is, we know the formula L inverse of a by s square plus a square is sin a t. This is my final answer. Hope you understand students. So, in this session, 
we solved a linear second order differential equation with constant coefficient such that my f of s has non factorizable terms so in three videos we see three different problems the first one is linear factors the second one is repeated factors and this problem non factorizable terms now seeing this three problems hope you are very confident to do whatever the problem comes in your exams hope you understand students thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye